This is every third Thursday. A chance for us to have some fun in our factory, get creative with board design and materials, just get spontaneous, come up with a theme, and build it. This ETT, we're headed to the desert to shred some dunes. We've never done this before, so we did a little research, and we know that speed is going to be our biggest challenge. We're going to make two boards to try on the sand. One is a Formica base, which is commonly used in sandboarding. This is Formica. You might recognize it on your countertop. This is what will be the base on this board. The other is a hard plastic called ABS that we have here in our factory that we normally use as our sidewalls. We don't need edges on sand, so that opens up a whole new design concept. Russ just finished with this piece of ABS. It's all routed out so we can fit the core right in it. I don't think we've ever used ABS as a base, but it's the hardest plastic we have here, and I think it'll work good on the sand. I'm gonna flame treat the plastic so it'll bond when it goes into the press. Board number one. Look at that base. The crazy thing about this board right now is how light it is. Rush just handed me the ABS base. It's all routed out. We're gonna lay all the materials inside. We've definitely never tried this process before, and I'm interested to see if it works. It's fun laying up this board with a full sheet of ABS routed out like this. It's quick, easy, and everything's perfectly aligned. Board number two. Whoa. This board is ultra light. Our sand shredders are complete. We've got the Formica base on the old school epic shape. We've got an all ABS base for this twin shape. Glamis, tomorrow night, it's gonna be fun. We're here at Glamis Dunes in California and they look unreal. Spencer Link and Nick Sabayan just showed up. We're gonna do a little speed check and drop in without bindings. We did a couple tries of uh, just trying to ride down the dunes uh, and the boards rode pretty slow. The sand here is very rough, it's very granular, and it's making it extremely difficult to get speed. We brought some special wax, it's working a little, but you still can't really break free. You can't get good turns. We thought this might happen, so luckily we brought some backup. Rob McCachran just pulled his truck out of the trailer. It looks insane. This is the kind of truck you'd find in the Baja 1000. It's the premier class. There's your heli today, boys. Woo! So I'm about to hop in the truck with Rob McCachran. He's our trophy truck guy today. It's on. We're ready. <laughs> Getting pulled by a trophy truck is pretty fun, but it feels more like wakeboarding than snowboarding. We're trying to use the truck to help us get speed for the drop-in so we can get a solid turn. It's just still too slow. No that bowl was pretty crazy. Yeah. Getting, getting towed through there with a trophy truck. I took my eye for it. <laughs> Look at this Formica, just getting sanded down. Does it work better on snow? They may work better on snow. <laughs> <laughs> a so the boards didn't slide as well as we thought they would on sand, but this ABS board is really unique. It doesn't have edges, it's ridiculously flexible, and it's one of the lightest boards we've ever made. Mammoth just opened. This will slide no problem on snow. Let's go test it out on some rails. Now we're mile in it, which is snow, so let's try this baby out. It's my heart, it's my soul. She's the rock to my road. Side's really good on rails. <laughs> Feels like you're just gliding over them. I mean, you don't get that edge catch, you don't get those spur catches.
No edges, super flex. Can't go wrong. Overall, it's a fun board. It'd be good for kids on the street. Oh, that's a wrap. Better on snow than sand. Why don't they make these for snowboarding? Better than later hosing? Yeah, better than later hosing. We tried some sandboarding. It was uh, it was it was special. But I'm <laughs> sorry, I messed it up. Oh no, okay. nice day. I was thinking we needed epic right there. I, I know it was epic. epic. We had an epic day. Alright. We're gonna be huge in Dubai.